this one is for persons who are in um healthcare specifically doctors yes i had a i have doctors who reach out to me who want to apply for a visa you'd be surprised if you're a doctor you're a dentist you're a hygienist um you are dental assistant i was a dental assistant in jamaica as much as them fling me out of them place and fire me big up uno you want to get a visitor visa to come to the united states the b1 b2 visa that persons always talk about it's a two-in-one visa b1 and a b2 visitor visa and a business visa in one so it's two visa print on one page for multiple purpose so if you're in healthcare, you're a doctor you're a dentist you're a hygienist specifically the dental assistant you are the ones who stand on the side of the dentist or the hygienist and hold the something depends on the size everybody has scaled down now so someone will probably not have that they want no more because hygienist i do everything in a one do you know that there are conference here in the united states that are for um dentists are a doctor but my man really talk to the hygienist and the dental people then. right and the girl them will do teeth whitening and them something because everybody are coming up big up the, big up the people where take an extra high income skills with no college degree behind it so the girl them will do teeth whitening and jewel bedazzle and y'all do the temporary what them call us in there the term them found the teeth want the teeth extra white I can't remember my veneers, them something them. And you don't have a visa. Do you know that there's um there's ceremonies? Ceremonies. Ah, uh, let me let me go over and come back. A seminar, I mean I look for me. I don't know what semi ceremony coming in, you know, I cut out that. Because my company we don't know flam and it's not a semi perfect. I'm gonna take the information and spit out the one and go on with it. So <laughs> there are seminars here in the United States that helps you. It's like continuing education or to learn something new. For example, in immigration, right? I have a set of people that I I am a part of a group now put that only where we get continuing education to update us when things change in immigration as i were maybe my weekly in a place is my love and me and them sit on a side and side in a chair i'll be up here so me and them level up the camp now degree in the for my while i'm gonna learn what i'm gonna learn more than what them know so you know in a them they may not know that coming just an event me don't pay the part in the mind <laughs> anyway you are hygienist, you are dental assistant, you want to do better by your work and you are up to date. You know, continue education, you continue to get up to date with what's new in dentistry, what's new in, in health care. So you can use this to apply for a visitor visa to come. Got a visa again, business, conference, visit job interview there's so many things that you can use the b1 or the b2 visa to do so when you go to the embassy for example go up on google and type in dentist seminar near in the u.s not near me i'm in the u.s i could do that uh, let me put uh, in the u.s someone so type in that all right may i put florida in in florida f-l-o reda so dental seminar in florida you type in it boom you see something will come up see some continuing dental education and this is at the university of florida you click on it we can't uh, let me i'll show you all right so look right here so we type in dentist course look we type in this in a google right the camera back fuzzy all right so this is a long video all right this is what i typed in and then this come up. I go down and I click on that one here. You can look for the specific state where you want. When we click on that, come on, don't be playing with me. This come up. So you see popular course and program. But when you remember, so now I look for um, And this is at this college. So you can go down here. So you see, so this is one using friendly crown. Um, blah, blah. And this I keep in a July the 24th. And it's at this place, Gainesville, Florida. And you can just look for some other more. This is the course I will come with. These are the speaker we are going to do. Look here. These are the fee. Regular. But you are going to look for the free one. Them. You always have to do this, you know. 
So let me just give you an example. You have a lecture and workshop. You don't have to do this. You can look for the one that we're free. Me just have shown an example of how you can Google it. So you have to look for the free course. Go do that the research for us in the time. We don't want to time off. I don't want to go do it on the Right. So imagine I see the, oh my God, this course is going to be at Gainesville for hygienists. Oh, this is going to be at Gainesville July the 26th. You print out this now. You register for the course, RSVP. Look for the free one, them. All right. Something under 10,000. Something you know, your pocket can do. Prof preferably free. You look for the free one. You look on the date. You press register now. You go on there. You register. See there? Print out the course description. Print out, say, RSVP. Right, and them something that if you can reach out to them directly and ask them, Hey, I'm coming from outside the country, can you write me a letter? I already RSVP or pay the fee. Da 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 da, you get that the paper. You go so now, books, Gainesville, Florida. All right, hotel near me in Gainesville, Florida. Bam, search. Oh my god, look at this hotel. The ceremony, the seminar lasted two days. Say, so you want the hotel for three days, maybe the third day, I'm going to look at white man. Bloop. So you grab the hotel, oh my god, $25 per day. Or you get three. That's about $75 three day hotel. Yo, RSVP in no RSVP. But you book the hotel, not with the money. If you can reserve it, if you can reserve it and the refund fee is full refund, then you grab the hotel. If you can, you just um look up the hotel in here and use that hotel if you where you're going to stay and the B1, B2, memorize the address and the name of the hotel. So when you got embassy now, come to me, I will do the farm, grab a date for you. What's the purpose for traveling? Oh, I am going to show them, you hand them the paper at the same time, your bank statement for sure. You can pay for your hotel. Um, receipt say pay for the course, or print out say RSVP for the course, you're enrolling at the course. The school email you back say, yes, this person is confirmed for the seminar. I you got embassy, what's the purpose for traveling? Oh, I'm going on business. I'm a hygienist for the past 10 years. I work at Nayoshi Dental. I work at Here For You Dental. <laughs> so I'm going for this seminar. Here's my RSVP. Here's my bank statement. Here's the hotel that I'm going to stay and return back home. Upon the application, you already show sure you have a man and you pity them down a yard. That's a tie. Show sure you, sure sure you in your job. Show sure that you're in your job. For a period of time, show your dentistry certificate or license, or maybe you're on your own business, and send that and give that to the officer and tell him the reason why you're traveling. This is a lot of information to take in, but watch the video over again and share it with another doctor friend. Yeah, share it with a hygienist friend, share it with the dental, big up the dental assistant, the girl where I work up at Kingston. That's so the girl in Ota Wala, but that's so you work as a hygienist. Me love the dentist no more than you. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm going to walk in the same office at daytime. I step out of the same office at daytime. They have visa because you see them travel and I buy them product. I love them no more than you. You too can come and get the visa. Not because you're just a regular um, dental assistant. You have you have a chance to get a visa too. And anybody is a fall under that category. Them, you know. Now take this and flip it for whatever job you're in a, or whatever business you're on and think, oh, you can use that. Based on this that I brought around and gave you, how you can apply for a visit or visa. It's not always visit. It's not always pleasure. Oh, I'm going to go on the sign of Trinidad. And, not Trinidad, but Florida. It's not always that. The visa for business too.